<laughs> We're gonna have to wrangle him back in. All right, so this is the goat barn now. So come check out what all we've done. So we have a good buddy, Jeff, that's been coming in and working on it. So all of the stalls that were in here before have been extended and we've put these doors on. So what that is allowing us to do is basically I can, at the end of the day, when I put the goats back up, we can lock Butch up by himself, right? And that is going to prevent any of the goats from getting pregnant when we don't want them to be because now we can keep the male goats separate in the afternoons when they have to be uh, locked up together. So each of these doors close and lock. They'll also swing out this way. Um, it's not all the way done yet, but there's going to be a spot for it to get latched. So I can actually close off either direction, which is awesome. So that way I can come in, shut that, and then I can even leave that open if I want, swing any of these doors and lock them in place, and then the goats can go out this way. So we also have, which is awesome, stairs. Before, storing the hay up in our loft was an experience. <laughs> um, so some of the guys could actually throw it up top. I couldn't do that. So typically what would happen is it was just me and my kids that would come out here to put the hay up there was a ladder and we would climb up the ladder and I would be at the top or the bottom. My oldest would either be at the top. So if I'm on top, he's on the bottom. I would have to pull up and we'd heave it over. Now we can unlock it and we can walk up. So we finished all the floor. This wasn't here before. There was some floor on the other side. Now it wraps around and that's where we keep all of the hay. We keep the pine shavings. Uh, the pine shavings are what we use to cover after the goats have used the bathroom. We're doing the method, I forget what it's called. Basically, whenever they use the bathroom over the winter, we just pile a thick uh, layer of uh, pine shavings on top of it. It composts down and helps to produce heat in the barn. So that's what we have stored over here. He's also put this like plastic up. It kind of is shaped just like the steel that's on the barn, but that's to allow light to get in here because if we didn't have that, it would be really, really dark. We don't have electricity running to the barn, so that was really awesome. And then once I come in this way, the fenced in area is over here. Let's see this way. So I can open the door and the goats can just go right out into their fenced in area. And so there's no more having to wrestle them on leashes to make them go out this way. Hey, there's Butch. <laughs> All right, and so the last thing I'll show you is we have some storage now that's under the stairs. So it's not much, but we're gonna have some shelving in here so I can store kind of like uh, any of the dry goods. I have some like, uh, probiotics that I add to their water. I have some dry uh, dewormer, it's powder. I can keep that out here, which is really awesome. I can just keep uh, like brushes and different things out here for the animals. And I think that's really great. So, and again, that was a stall that was basically too small to really use for almost anything else. And it's working great because that's where we decided to put the stairs and I feel like no space is being wasted in the barn, which I think is awesome. So, but that is the update. Next is just, you know, finishing fence the fencing. So that way the goats don't have to go out on leads anymore. Um, and hopefully once all that's done, we can get some more animals, maybe some chickens or something like that. Fingers crossed that it runs smooth. And yeah, so just, you know, to, uh, Pay attention and keep watching. Stay tuned because there's going to be more to come.